actually a jungle view there. I'm going to show the property. I'm very excited about that property because it's like a yoga retreat. So I'm just going to chill. The plan for Perisa is very simple. Just go out for sunset, stay at the property, chill, do some yoga, have a few drinks. That's it. And on our way, I'm going to stop by for lunch at Manori's Kitchen, which is Devashree's recommendation. She's told me that the food is very homely and nicely cooked so I'm very excited for that because you guys know how much I love food and everywhere I go I literally keep hunting for good food so yeah I have to stop there that's at Ahangama and then we directly head to Marissa. Give us a welcome drink which is a passion fruit juice. I've never had a passion fruit juice in my life. So I'm very excited to try that. Okay, let me try a passion fruit juice for the first time. It's like Mosambi juice. You know? It's like a nice Mosambi. Mix of pineapple and mosambi. Oh yeah, that is exactly what this is. Like a mix of pineapple and mosambi. Hello. Hello. Hi. You own this place? Sorry? You own the place? Yeah. Okay. So we're getting the fish curry and rice. I am so excited. Long beans, eggplant moju, dal curry. Okay, that's a full fledged meal right here. I'm just so glad that we did this because this meal was my favorite in Sri Lanka if you guys are coming to Sri Lanka and just want to take one of my recommendations you guys should check out Manori's kitchen at Ahangama so yeah it, it they uh, literally cook home cooked meal and it's like a lavish spread at a very affordable cost Marissa and what I love about this property is that it overlooks this lush green jungle. Another thing that I truly love is these sitting areas that we have outside every room so you can just chill, relax and look at the view. This is the double room. It comes with a very lovely kitchen area where you can probably, you know, cook up something that you'd like. There's a nice seating area here. The thing that I truly love about the property is that it has a yoga shala. So they have yoga workshops every morning and evening. So if you're someone into uh, yoga, I think this is a perfect place to stay at because uh, Marissa is a very chill kind of place and the beach is just a walking five minute walk from here. Oh wow, we have like fresh fruits. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hey guys, 
good morning so it's another beautiful day here in Marissa I'm just outside my hotel I'm gonna grab some coffee at the restaurant area they have upstairs and then do a yoga workshop here the yoga workshop is at nine o'clock it's around 7 30 i want to say right now so yeah we have enough time to you know enjoy the nature have a cup of coffee and then head for yoga i lost the yoga session this morning i added the time lapse of the entire flow uh in the video it was wonderful and the breakfast was also amazing my bike my battery died so i couldn't show you the breakfast but tomorrow i'm gonna capture that and right now sorry i'm fumbling because i'm very 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 scared i'm trying scuba diving for the first time i hope everything goes well keeping my fingers crossed <laughs> Amazing. The food here is actually really good. Hey guys, we're out again and today we're going to Coconut Hill at Marissa, which is one of the most Instagrammable spots in Marissa. So whenever you type like Marissa on Google, there are all all the pictures that come up are of this hill. So we are heading there. It's a five to ten minute walk from our hotel. So yeah, see you there. Yesterday we, uh, after I think last I saw was the coconut tree hill that we went to. After that we went for dinner to Petty Petty, but my battery died again, so I couldn't shoot much on this uh, vlogging camera. But then I'm gonna add a few pictures of the dinner if I find them here to see uh, to show you all what we had. We had a really nice prawn curry, some chi uh, chicken tenders with a nice glass of beer so that was nice the place was really nice you can check it out if you uh, happen to come here and today in the morning we are back at jungle view and we are back here for breakfast and yeah I, i'm just like today the plan is to just chill at the hotel and you know just take in the sound of the nature it's so good here like you can literally hear the birds chirping. That's the music that you hear all the time. So yeah, I, and everything is just like at a walking distance from here. So I think this is a great place to actually stay at if you all happen to come in Minnesota. Last 
sunset technically in Mirissa at the beach so I'm just enjoying some uh, nice dinner with some beer and this beautiful sunset. <laughs> 